I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Tigers, I'm Kiara Craig and I'll be your anchor for this week's Tiger Tube. If you didn't know, next week we're heading to a little bit more familiar rhythm with hybrid learning. I'm sure anyone going back wants to look their very best, so let's head over to Carson for some style tips. What is going on Tigers? My name is Carson Hammond and I'm going to be your new host for our new segment we are bringing Tiger Tube called Carson's Closet. Now look, I know y'all haven't got out the house in a while since quarantine happened. And some of y'all may have not even gotten dressed, you know, properly. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to talk about some outfits for the fall, back to school, that get you guys going. Not only look good for yourself, but you'll feel good around others. All right, so stay tuned, and we go ahead and Carson by the camera to let you know what's up. Starting off strong, we got this black beanie. Keep it nice and simple. Black goes with everything. You can unroll it. You can even put it behind your ears, keep it nice and cool. Change it up. We got this pink beanie, and even more to change it up. Got this gray and orange beanie. Shake the head a little bit. Now moving on to the tops, we got this gray hoodie. You can even style it with a couple layers. We got this red flannel, nice piece. Goes with pretty much everything in your closet. You can even go with this black one. Now you got your black hoodie. Essential to your closet, goes with pretty much anything you will wear. I got this light, you know, jean jacket easy simple outfit or with the same flannel from the last clip you can put that on it looks nice over pretty much anything and even this yellow puffer jacket looks good with it personally i would choose a different color puffer jacket but that's all i got so yeah now we got these black joggers simple goes with pretty much anything that you'll ever wear got these white vans to style it with it and keep it nice and simple now you got your skinny fit jeans pair them with some air force ones Never go wrong, simple fit, but clean, and it'll always look clean no matter what you wear with it. Now moving on to your sweatpants, it's an easy, comfortable outfit for the winter. Go out pretty much whenever, pair them with some nice, comfortable shoes like your Vans, your Crocs, or you can even pair them with your, boom, slides. Again, a simple fit that you can always wear. Alright you guys, that's all I have for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed this little segment of Carson Closet, and I can't wait to see everyone's fire fits when we come back to school. Hope everyone stays safe and make sure to wear a mask. And I'll see you next time. It's been Carson Hammond. Peace out. Whoa, those are pretty cool. I'll be sure to keep that in mind next time I head out. Speaking of heading out, there's a lot going on in the world right now. It can be hard to keep track of. So let's head over to Samara with World News. What's up, Tigers? My name is Samara Gibbs, and today we're going to be taking an international look on Tiger News. In Thailand on Wednesday, October 21st, a group of student-led protesters led a march on the Prime Minister's office, demanding he step down from office and requested reform to the monarchy. This was the eighth day of a protest initially started in March, but delayed due to the coronavirus. Many continue to push for this governmental change by sparking discussion of reform and compromise to solve the many political problems they are faced with every day. Europe has cracked down on social restrictions due to another huge wave of coronavirus cases. Over 7 million cases and 240,000 deaths have been reported in Europe in total. Russia so far has the most reported cases, with a whopping 1.4 million people infected. In response to the spike in cases, many European countries are going on national lockdowns, imposing curfews, fining people who don't wear masks in public, and closing off public areas for a few hours a day. Also, just as a side note, I hope you guys have kept up with the recent election and continue to speak up for causes you believe in fighting for. This has been Samara Gibbs with Tiger News. Stay safe. Wow, that's a whole lot going on this week. I think I need a little break from all the commotion bustling out in the world. So let's head over to Sydney with The Bright Side.
Hey Tigers, this is Sydney reporting on your good news of the week. NASA Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astrology, or SOFIA for short, has discovered water on the sunlit side of the moon. This is big news because it changes how we know the surface of the moon as a whole. While it may not be a lot of water, we can make a comparison to the Sahara Desert, which has 100 times more water, but it will lead to deep space exploration and a whole lot of new discoveries. This is Sydney looking on the bright side. What a fun segment to show for something a little bit more lighthearted. But you know, at the end of the day, it can get really stressful from things like the election to online schooling. So let's check in with Mary for some mental health advice. Hey Tigers, I'm Mary Hadabe, and today I'll be teaching you a skill that's hard to learn and even harder to master, but it's actually really cool to know. And that skill is managing your mental health. When it comes to politics, the pandemic, and pretty much everything in between, it's safe to say that this year has just been completely insane. But while you can't fix this year, you can start by fixing your personal life. So here are a few things that you can do to cope with stress in a healthy way. If you want to take care of your mental health, you have to start by taking care of your physical health. Stay hydrated, exercise regularly, and get plenty of sleep every night. You'll start to feel so much better. It's okay to ask for help if you're ever going through something. Find someone to talk to, call them, text them. Sometimes it's just nice to have someone to listen to sad music and cry it out with. These days, it's almost impossible to avoid bad news when you're online. While it's great to stay informed, sometimes the distraction is what you need to keep your sanity. Read a book, watch a show you like, go outside, maybe go skateboarding and drink cranberry juice while listening to Fleetwood Mac like that one guy from TikTok. He seems pretty happy. Now those were just a few simple ideas on how to deal with stress. I'll see you next time with some more tips, but in the meantime, this has been Mary Catapay reporting for TigerTube. Take care, Tigers. That's super interesting. You know, we have such great teachers who can teach us these really cool things. We actually have some teacher shout outs this week. Like Mr. Riggs says, I want to shout out all of my photography students this year. You're all working hard at home with what you have on hand and taking the challenge and running with it. You're all constantly creating amazing work and applying your technical skills creatively. Huge shout out. Keep up the great work. You're all amazing. And Ms. Bakunas wants to say, shout out to Mrs. Goss. This is her first year teaching at Valencia. She jumped right into this crazy school year and has quickly become a valued member of the Tigard family. And with that, let's take it over to extra announcements. Hi Tigers, I'm Olivia Rubalcaba and this is Extra Announcements. This is another reminder that Future Ready Season will begin the first week of November for seniors. Each week will be dedicated to a specific application related to college and financial aid. The staff will be assisting students via Zoom or in person when students return to campus. Save the shown dates to receive after-school application assistance. The Zoom links will be emailed to you each week, and if you are unsure which session or sessions to attend, reach out to your counselor and they will be happy to direct you through this process. In addition, please note that there will be a virtual financial aid night on December 9th at 6 p.m. for all seniors and their families. The following is a message from ASB. Hi, my name is Caitlin Tromley with a quick reminder that today after school we are hosting a virtual assembly at 2 p.m. You can find the link to the live stream on the BHS Tigers homepage by clicking the Tiger Tube logo on the bottom left side. Hope to see you there. That's all for now, Tigers. Have a great weekend.